Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the another modifier in 3D Studio Max that is cap hole. Now, cap hole is a pretty pretty interesting uh, modifier. Now, when we actually use cap hole, if you uh, select any object and uh, go to the um, modifier list and say cap holes, you will see some things happen what just switch off this and if I zoom in you see uh, in my in the teapot by default there is a few uh, area which is uh, not been connected I mean which has been hold and we are going to cap with this uh, modifier so after switching on the cap holes you can see the the pour uh, where where from where the liquid is poured to the cups from the teapot is actually been actually been blocked. Now, uh, what we actually can do with this? Now, first of all, convert it to a polygon object, and if by any mistake or accident, if I delete any faces of any polygonal object. We can easily cover that area uh, through cap holes but uh, before that again uh, if we put in the object level the modifier cap hole yes you see the 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 two faces already has been covered up but also it also covered a few other areas where we don't want to be affected by the cap hole like let's say I want just uh, I want to uh, close this face not uh, this one or maybe the teapot uh, kettles uh, top part or maybe the uh, the the area where from where the liquids will come out so what can we do now for creating that the cap hole can also be apply to the sub object level also <clears throat> go to the border and select this face or this border and then we can apply cap hole to to this particular faces now that is the most interesting part of cap holes we can uh, really apply this modifier into the sub object level. you can see the uh, symbol of uh, uh, border is coming out over here because this uh, cap hole modifier has been applied to the border now if we deselect this object and press F4 you can see this uh, just move on to the from realistic to shaded you can see that uh, this face uh, the normals of the face has been different that's why it's it's showing the differences you can easily uh, change that in the cap holes section under the parameters you see there's an option called smooth with old faces because as this is a new face uh, 3d max is actually uh, making it a bit distinguished so I can easily do that just switch on the smooth with old faces and it will just uh, uh, change the normals and according to the entire object so this way you can easily uh, overcome or maybe fill up the uh, areas which you wanted to remember you can't switch off that selection if you switch off this selection your cap hole won't work so it's 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 very difficult to uh, remember this because if you get back to the editable poly it might won't uh, give you any kind of uh, inform uh, any kind of error message or warning message but if you switch off this border selection it will go away so it's better that after you use the cap or cap hole to the sub object level you just convert it to the polygon then uh, the information will be deleted or dependency will be deleted so this is the cap holes is all about
Thank you very much.